just a cliffhanger, please. How about the chicken explodes while I try to cook a meal for my sick grandmother? Can we write about the police entering the forest through a helicopter, then swooping down to pick up the main character before he gets attacked by a pack of aggressive monkeys? All too often, students get really excited about including cliffhangers or putting in details of the story that excite them, like the exploding chicken. While our hearts sing with joy when we see that students are so excited to write, we have to refrain from all these no-nos of crafting compositions during an examination. No, it's not wrong. In fact, if it's a piece of work you are writing for yourself or for some other creative purpose, you can do anything you want, as long as it works. In an examination, we will have to refrain from using details that are far too exaggerated and absurd. We've ever read that students should not try to make their examiners laugh because their sense of humour is different. While that is not the case, students should make sure that what they're writing is something that almost anyone can understand. Just because you find a certain meme funny doesn't mean your examiner is going to feel the same way. Likewise, the exploding chicken might make you laugh. Yes, it makes us laugh too. But not every examiner might appreciate such humour. What about cliffhangers? Aren't they great? Yes, when a movie or book end, ends with an appropriate cliffhanger, it leaves the audience or readers in a state of awe, shock, disbelief. But these are not really emotions that we want our examiners to be stuck with at the end of the composition. Instead, we want them to be impressed. And to do so means there's a certain way to end. No, it's not with a cliffhanger or exploding chickens. So remember, all these cool and funny things that you'd like to include in your story, leave them for your own writing work instead. But don't let it fade away. We like you and you're cool and funny.